The Birmingham Warfare event is part of the Peaky Blinders collaboration event. There are five regions in this event, the church precinct, the industrial sector, the city garden district, the casino zone, and downtown. You start off at the church precinct and you'll be able to unlock more regions as you gain more prestige. The industrial sector requires 500 prestige, the city garden district requires 1000 prestige, the casino zone requires 1500 prestige, and downtown requires 2000 prestige. You can gain prestige by doing city bounties. You're able to do 8 city bounties a day and each of these will give you 15 city invitations. These 15 city invitations are converted into 15 prestige points automatically. So each day you should be able to get up to 360 prestige points from city bounties. On top of that, you can also get some extra prestige by completing quests. For example, in the church precinct, you can get 140 prestige by spying on 20 stables. In the casino zone, you need to place 8 derby bets to get another 140 prestige, which can be done even if you haven't unlocked the area yet. The industrial sector and garden district also have their own set of quests that give you 140 prestige each. So this means you should be able to get 560 prestige points by finishing quests in all four regions and you only need to get the remaining 1,440 points from bounties. You can get these points by finishing 96 bounties, which should take a minimum of 12 days. Since this event is a 14-day event, it should be easy to get 2,000 points if you're active. Getting 2,000 points not only unlocks all areas in this event, but it also unlocks all the prestige rewards, including the permanent aristocrat luxury chat bubble and the 60-day Shelby flat cap small collection item, along with some emotes and other items. The event also has a derby where you can bet on horse races. In order to bet, however, you need to be online as early as possible since you can only bet on these races up to 13.30 or 1.30 p.m. city time. The earlier you place your bets, the more races you'll be able to bet on, so make sure you log in as soon as you can after reset to place your bets. You need to do at least 8 bets to finish the Casino Zone quests, which give you 140 prestige points. Some of the daily bounties also require you to place 2 bets to get 15 prestige points. If you win a bet, you get paid based on the odds. If you lose, you lose everything. If you don't want to take too much risk, I'd recommend betting only 10 race coins which is the minimum amount which is what I do. However, you can bet up to 150 race coins per race which is the maximum amount. You can get these race coins from doing bounties. Most bounties give you 50 of these coins, but some also give 100. I think if you complete all bounties in a day, you can get up to 450 coins. These coins can then be used at the derby shop to buy items. I personally like the VIP points, roadster points, godfather coins, experience, and then one hour speedups in that order. I think if you max out your bounties almost every single day, you should have enough coins to get all of these items unless you decide to gamble them all away. So that's pretty much all there is to the Birmingham Warfare event. Let me know whether you guys were able to bet on the derby races in the comments down below because I wasn't able to for the first two days. And if you have any other thoughts on this event, feel free to share those as well in the comments. If you haven't liked the video yet, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.